So in this video, we're gonna, sorry, one sec. Hey, we're about to do that Premiere Pro tutorial. Yeah, we're literally just about to get started. Okay, let me know if you need me. All right, will do. You get the coffees on and then we'll get started. So as I was saying, we're gonna do a tutorial showing you how to duplicate yourself just using the masking tool. So let's jump into it. Now, this video is sponsored by us at Editor's Keys. If you want to edit faster in Adobe Premiere Pro, an Editor's Keys shortcut keyboard is a must have accessory. Check out the link in the description below. Hey, I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this cool effect of duplicating yourself, and it's actually really easy. Okay, the first step when you're shooting is to make sure that you have the camera on a tripod, just so that nothing in the background or in the scene is shaking. So make sure it's as still as possible, and don't move it during your shots. Next, make sure your camera is in manual mode so the ISO and white balance doesn't change at any point. I definitely recommend using one of these grade cards to white balance your camera first. Also, click up here if you wanna see a video all about how grade cards work. So now, when you've chosen your location, you can begin filming. Shoot your first bit, and for this example, I'm going to do some dialogue. So what we'll do is say our first bit, and then we'll stop. But what you wanna make sure you do is keep the camera rolling, and then during the silent space, I'll use the duplicate clip. Now that we've got the first bit of dialogue and the silent section filmed, look for the spaces in the shot and then film your duplicate in one of those empty spaces. Now, when you film both of those, take those two shots into Premiere Pro. Now, get your two shots and find the section where you stop talking on the original clip and then place your other shot above that part like so. Now, all you need to do is go to the opacity in effects control. Look for your draw icon here, and then just draw around where your duplicate is. Then to blend it even smoother, use the feather tool to smoothen out the edges, just like so. This technique looks really cool if you're walking in and out of frame, like through a door, just like we did in our example. You can make this look really interesting and cool, and you can create some really nice pieces just using this simple technique. You can actually also do this by using the crop tool too, but we're using masking in this example. 